Hello guys, my name is Edison. Welcome to part 2 of uh, free RTOS implementation in STM32. And today I'll be looking at a very important uh, feature uh, used to synchronize tasks in uh, RTOS, which is semaphore. So uh, we shall see how uh, we can create a semaphore and how to use it and also to do a recap on the uh, last uh, section on how to create task. So I have two LEDs, one blue and a green LED uh, that will help me uh, demonstrate how semaphores are used. So I'll go ahead and uh, create a new project and I'll be using Nucleo F401 and start project you can see yes so uh, the first thing that I want to do here is clear the pinouts and then I have two LEDs with me one connected to pin P5 and I'll have this as green LED and then another one connected to pin p6 which is the blue led then go to system core under rcc enable the uh, external ceramic uh, resonator and also under sys you change the time base to another timer apart from systic then uh, go to middleware, uh, click on free RTOS and uh, select version 1. And uh, from the previous video, we learned that uh, there has to be one task in an RTOS uh, session. And I'm going to change this task to task 1 and also give it a name green LED task and then you can change the priority if you want and then the other things are okay so click OK so for the uh, semaphores you can see them uh, here timers and semaphores but I'm not going to create them from here I'll be showing you how you can uh, create your own semaphore when the code is generated. So I'll go to core configuration, uh, can change these to HSE and uh, I like operating at maximum frequency. Then go to project manager and have your project name, I call it uh, free Artos semaphores. Then I'll be using Kelly Vision, so I select MDK ARM and then go ahead and generate code. So I go ahead and open a project. Then you can expand this application user code, open the main.c, and uh, to make uh, our functions uh, visible when you are writing code, we first build the code. Uh, I'm going to create a task for the blue LED. So I have thread ID task to handle for for our uh, is task two and then I'll have my prototype for the task. So blue LED And then we have then I go uh, to the main function and I'll have this user code beginner two threads and I'll create a task here 
so so I declare a variable of base type RT that I call it return value B for blue LED then I'll have it in my main and then I'm going to create a task and uh, the first parameter is the task itself which has the while loop then uh, I shall give it a label which is uh, the same name as the task then we have the word size 128 and then we have this null pointer uh, that can be passed to an underlying function uh, to make sure that the pointer is still valid when the task is finally uh, run after starting the scheduler so then from there we have the priority so I can have this as OS priority normal just like uh, for the other task then uh, the last parameter is the handle or uh, the task handle which is task 2 then I'm going to check whether uh, the task was created successfully and then I'm going to pass this and test it whether it is not equal to null so if it is not equal to null it means that the task was created successfully so I'm going to define uh, this uh, task function in user code begin for and uh, inside here I'll have a while loop while one and then uh, what I want to achieve uh, with these two loops is that I want to blink this LED five times so if the fifth count has reached then it will give the same file to this so that this function will uh, blink the green LED three times then give uh, the same offer to uh, this uh, task so I'm going to have a variable of u8 uh, you int uh, first 8 the code count and I'll initialize this to 0 and uh, I'm going to check if this is called a uh, pre-increment so first increment count then check if it is greater than or equal to 5 so if that turns out to be true then we are going to reset count to zero then we are going to use x semaphore give uh, x semaphore give a function but uh, so far we have not created uh, the semaphore so then from here I go to if semaphore if x semaphore tick x semaphore tick so it takes two parameters the semaphore handle and also the time that it will uh, it can wait for it to take the handle so if this is equal to pd pass then uh, we can now blink our uh, green LED uh, three times so I'm going to have the same variable here so I'm 
so for count equals zero count is less than three then count plus plus then uh, going to turn on the green LED using her GPIO right pin then uh, we have the green LED port then we have the green LED pin then we are going to set this high GPIO pin set then uh, from there I'll have to reset it and I'm going to use the task delay to delay this for 100 milliseconds and also copy it here so I'm all going to copy this and uh, place it here and uh, in here I'm going to control the blue LED so it is the blue LED pin and change this I'm going to change the delay for the blue LED to one second and then let's go ahead and create now the semaphore so we first create a variable of semaphore handle and I'll call it same pointer and then I'm going to go to the main function where, whereby we have user code begin our two semaphores and uh, have that same pointer equals to x semaphore create binary going to create a binary semaphore takes no parameter then I'm going to check whether the semaphore was as created so I'm going to test it for uh, if it's not equals to null so if it is not equals to null it means that it has been created successfully so from there I'll go back to our functions that we had created so the same over here is the same pointer uh, and then uh, we have the same here that as the first parameter then the second parameter is for how long do you want to wait until you take the semaphore or you check whether it's available so I'm going to have port max delay or you can use that to wait or you can use OS wait forever so from there uh, let's see now what we have so we have this we increment it if it's uh, greater than or equal to 5 we give the semaphore to this function uh, this task now this task will run three times uh, so to run three times can have 0 1 2 that is three times and then that's okay so let's first build the code and then I'll go to options for target then uh, debug go to settings flash then click reset and run so let me download the code to our board and see what we shall have you can see now the blue LED is blinking so 
5 it gives the same of us to the other task and then the other task we run three times then this will take uh, now the same of her. and that is how you can achieve a uh, task synchronization using semaphore so you could have used a global variable and, and uh, increment also but uh, that's not advisable because it uses uh, the microprocessor uh, time and also power as it will keep waiting uh, for that uh, flag that the variable or a certain value has reached but for this you're just giving it uh, this handle and then if it takes the handle just run so you'll see that you have saved uh, the MCO clock cycles uh, for other tasks so if uh, you have any question can you leave it in the comment section and uh, I know you have learned a lot so don't forget to uh, share like and even subscribe so in the next tutorial I'll cover uh, timers in Artos. So thank you and bye.